Well, vaping is in the news for all the wrong reasons as lung related injuries are rising. Eric Nelson has a story of a Brooklyn Park resident who suffered serious injuries because of vaping. Got to the hospital and we saw all the tubes coming out of his mouth and the nose and so forth, and we're absolutely devastated. It's been an agonizing couple of weeks for Cedric McClure and his family. They have spent countless hours at North Memorial Health Hospital in Robbinsdale visiting their son Elijah. He began to throw up uh, to the point where it became violent. Last month, Elijah was put in ICU with what his parents believe are lung injuries related to vaping. It's not a good sight, not a good feeling to walk into the hospital and to see your otherwise healthy uh, son uh, in that condition. Elijah is a 21-year-old Augsburg student who once played football and basketball for Park Center. The good news is he came off a respirator on Wednesday. We just don't know what long-term impacts there will be, and in many ways we're going to have to discover it. Suddenly, the McClures have become a poster family for vaping. Their story has garnered national attention. This is not just a personal matter. This is an epidemic. Richard Danilo works for the Minnesota Department of Health. Vaping is not, not a good alternative to smoking. According to Danilo, vaping is not safe. Vaping on its own is not good, and certainly vaping any bootleg product that you might buy on the street or buy from a drug dealer is, is uh, doubly not good, particularly in, the, in light of this outbreak. In recent years, there has been an explosion of youth vaping across the nation. Health officials say that has caused an alarming number of illnesses. There have been 37 cases of lung injuries in Minnesota and 425 in the U.S. We think that this outbreak uh, here in Minnesota and all across the country is related to vaping illicit THC. Somehow, we don't really know the ultimate cause. THC is a chemical component found in marijuana. It's been uh, extracted and uh, then it's put into a vaping device or vaping juice. Meanwhile, Cedric McClure is now on a mission to educate others about the repercussions of vaping. This is not a safe alternative to tobacco whatsoever. In fact, it may even be worse. Because of Elijah's misfortune, Cedric has learned a lot about something he knew little about. For us and for me, it's been a crash course yep. on this phenomenon of vaping. In Robbinsdale, I'm Eric Nelson, CCX News.